This is my handmade fabric now. Prince Pedro is from southwestern Austrian state and is one of the main exhibitors here at this year's International Arts and Culture Expo. Pedro's complex use of wax and handmade dyes have made him one of Nigeria's renowned textile artists. He says being a part of this event is about promoting artists from around the continent. I was invited as an exhibitor to come and exhibit my artworks to showcase it to the whole Nigeria, even I can say the whole world, because we have people from different countries. In the past, Nigeria could not firmly put a figure towards how much money arts and culture contributed to its economy. But with a recent fall in global oil prices, Nigeria's main revenue earner, state funding for the arts, is getting a second look through initiatives like this. According to the tourism ministry, 2.7 million U.S. dollars is projected from cultural tourism alone this year. 52 African countries to come together to exhibit, exhibit their arts and craft. It's a way of promoting the uh, you know, indigenous cultural industry. A challenge that exists for many local artists is in getting the public to buy Nigerian art, largely because of competing product imports from abroad. However, that thinking may be changing. Yes, I'm quite impressed because I love art and I love the things I see here. So I'm here to just uh, grab some things that I think I love and I'm going to give it to some of my colleagues at work. I think creativity is, is there. They are designers, local designers, they are creative and what they are showcasing, it's, it's nice, it's of uh, international standard. Organizers here are hoping for more participants to help grow the arts industry. This International Arts and Culture Expo will mark 10 years this year, including participants from Nigeria looking to shape consumer attitudes towards made in Nigeria products, even beyond the country's borders. Sophia Dango for CGTN, Abuja, Nigeria.